Hello, and thank you for your willingness to participate in this 30-minute online module. My name is Ted Karen. I'm the coordinator of supervision for the Alliance for Catholic Education. On behalf of the entire ACE supervision team, I'd like to thank you for the invaluable role you play in the professional growth of our teachers. Your leadership, experience, and wisdom provide our teachers with the kind of consistent support that we know makes all the difference in the world to the students in our Catholic schools. As many of you know, the teacher evaluation and feedback done by the ACE supervision team is organized around the three pillars of ACE. It is also modeled after Charlotte Danielson's 2013 framework for teaching evaluation instrument. Across these three pillars and four domains, we include 20 evidence-based performance indicators that we view to be vital to a teacher effectively carrying out his or her work. These indicators not only guide supervisors' work during each of our site visits, but they also frame the principal evaluations that you complete each semester. In short, these indicators are central to our mutual roles in helping ACE teachers improve over their two years in the program. Because we recognize the developmental nature of our ACE teachers' experience, we prioritize certain performance indicators over others at various stages of their teaching experience. As the ACE teacher gains an experience, the number of indicators we include in our evaluations increase and shift in focus. For example, during the first semester, we focus heavily on critical components of classroom management and classroom procedures associated with Domain 2. By the third semester, we expect more sophisticated planning from teachers, evidenced in how they create effective assessments, account for student learning differences, and design and execute coherent unit plans. As a way to help supervisors and principals conceive of what these performance indicators look like in a classroom context, we include detailed rubrics that correspond with specific performance levels. Teachers can be rated as exceptional, proficient, basic, or unsatisfactory in each of the performance indicators. Determinations about teachers' performance reflect both the academic supervisor's on-site observations as well as evaluations from each of you. Given the role the performance indicators play in directing teachers' growth, we in the academic program are very interested in continuing to strengthen the collaboration that exists between the ACE principal and the ACE supervisor. As we see it, the more aligned we are in our efforts to support our teachers, the more impactful we can be in how they serve their students. Toward this end, we would like to invite you to participate in a professional development exercise centered around how the performance indicators interact in a teacher's classroom. In this exercise, we invite you to engage in five brief activities. First, we would ask that you review the rubrics for nine pre-selected performance indicators. After you've done this, we've prepared an approximately 14-minute video that features a second-year middle school social studies teacher teaching part of a lesson on the topic of westward expansion. As you watch the video, Consider the teacher's strengths and areas of growth as they relate to the nine performance indicators you previously reviewed. After watching the video, we'll ask you to rate the teacher as exceptional, proficient, basic, or unsatisfactory for each of the relevant performance indicators. Select not applicable if you feel as though a particular performance indicator is not reflected in the teacher's lesson. All responses will be anonymous and confidential. Once you have completed the ratings, we include a think-aloud of sorts between two members of our ACE supervision team. This discussion is designed to give you some insight as to how supervisors evaluated this teacher. As you know better than anyone, the practice of teaching is complex and context-dependent. Thus, your interpretations of this teacher's performance may differ from others. The purpose of this exercise is to fil facilitate a more collaborative and unified way of thinking among those who support the ACE teacher's professional growth most directly. At the conclusion of the module, we invite you to consider some questions designed to facilitate reflection. Thank you once again for agreeing to participate in this module. Those of you who have participated will be awarded one continuing education unit toward your license renewal.